Local public health departments across Nebraska are on the front lines of many efforts to make it easier for people to be healthy and safe. Many of Nebraska's local public health departments collaborate closely with their hospitals to develop community health needs assessments. These assessments are required of hospitals now. They help hospitals and communities understand what factors influence residents' health outside of the hospital. The expertise of local public health departments really helps many hospitals to get these assessments done and done well. Local public health departments help hospitals and communities gather and look at data from a variety of sources and then make sense of what that data says about a community's health. Local public health departments convene conversations where community members identify priorities and develop plans for improving community health. And then local public health departments work with other partners to help make those community health improvement plans come to life. In Kimball County, the Panhandle Public Health Department is an important part of the partnership led by Kimball Health Services that is bringing new opportunities for health to that corner of rural Nebraska. Kimball has just recently completed a community health needs assessment through the hospital in Panhandle Public Health District. And it really brought many community stakeholders together and actually we met right here in this building. The community engagement here is strengthening and really what the needs assessment showed and the priorities that they've chosen, many of them are being implemented right here. The hospital is, the, is taking the lead in that but there's lots of community partners involved and we're just excited for uh, what's going on and we know that it will make a difference in the health of the community. Had a number of things happen within the walls of, of this facility uh, that has allowed us to go outside the traditional walls of the hospital to try to take some health care things to the community. Uh, one of the first things that happened is that we signed a lease agreement uh, with uh, Volunteers of America to uh, have a child daycare center housed here. So that's on the other end of the building and they of course make use of, uh, of it as a preschool facility as well. So that has been something that's worked out very well. Uh, as far as the hospital itself, this is a great place for us to have our uh, annual health fair and we do our flu shot clinics out of this building. Uh, there's Tai Chi classes that are here, uh, smoking cessation, there's a pre-diabetes class, uh, just all kinds of things that we really try to reach out and, and take health care to the community so they know that it's available. We, we had heard from the police that one of their problems was that the uh, kids would come home from school and both parents were working, they were totally unsupervised. Uh, there seemed to be need for daycare, community daycare, uh, that took people from all walks of life. The hospital allowing the community to participate in this building has been really helpful for us. Daycare has been a huge component in our life. We had some transitional issues with daycare and it really was a saving grace for us to be able to have our kids come to this daycare. The goal is to keep the kids he happy, healthy, you know, engaged. Um, this is a big center. We, we have the potential for a lot more kids and so we're excited that we could make our numbers grow. I feel blessed being here with the ladies and, and Tim, the people that we have here. They know how to take care of the kids and they're great with the kids and we've had a lot of positive feedback. There's so many things you can think of in your head if you're trying to lose weight. You have all these issues that you're trying to think of and go through. But when you're by yourself, it don't really seem like it comes out as well as you would expect it to. When you have, when you go out into a group and you have so many of these people, you know, that are willing to help you with their thoughts and their different ideas and different things that, you know, it kind of triggers things in your head because you've thought of some of these things before and you don't feel so alone. I've never been real active or, or into a lot of exercise, but this really helped me get over the hump and, you know, I'm no spring chicken. And to start exercising and walking and going to the gym at this age, it was, it was a pretty big step, but I got into the habit. And I think that was the biggest thing. It got me into the habit of doing things correctly. I 
I don't want to give you the impression that this is something that Kimball Health Services has been able to do all by ourselves. You know, we're a small critical access hospital with a, a small staff, but we have been able to work with Western Nebraska Community College to put some of these classes together. Uh, we work with the Kimball Banner County Chamber of Commerce, and uh, we're just trying to be a catalyst for uh, working with those groups and some others to offer some of these wellness type activities to the community. It, it truly is a partnership as opposed to, uh, uh, you know, you need to do this or do that. It, it, uh, you know, resources are scarce in the panhandle and we can all decide to either work together or we can suffer the consequences of, of not. The community is excited about the initiatives that are happening, that there's a lot of movement going on, um, and that people are taking their health seriously.